Good morning, everyone. Five Farley here. It is October 4th, and we have got playoff baseball National League Divisional Series underway. Um, today, we got the uh, Rockies going to face Milwaukee in Milwaukee uh, against the Brew Crew. Two very, very hot teams going to be duking it out. Um, I'm a, I got to play for you. My best angle at this game um, as we break down the pitching staffs, uh, bullpens, and the offenses coming into this one. Um, very, very interesting dynamic. Two very unique approaches to this um, with home field and away. A lot of different dynamics coming into it. Uh, before I get into that, though, let me just tell you real quick. My other pick uh, for the Dodgers Braves will be up in another video. Feel free to check that out. As well as uh, make sure you subscribe. Please subscribe through the playoffs. Uh, check out all my picks as I've been posting baseball picks through all the whole season, as well as NFL picks, college football picks. Those will be coming out as well. Feel free to check out those videos in addition. All right, so <clears throat> let's get into today's game. We got uh, Antonio Cinzatella going to be uh, on the mound for the Rockies, going with a traditional start here, going against Milwaukee Brewers with their opener, what they call them, the out-getter uh, start. Brandon Woodruff is going to be making the start uh, there for Milwaukee very interesting. Milwaukee, one of the top pitching staffs, the top pitching staff when it goes, comes to ERA, um, thanks to the strength of their bullpen, number one bullpen in baseball, especially in the second half of the baseball season. Uh, undoubtedly, uh, Houston Astros coming in a distant second to the Milwaukee Brewers. So um, Brewers going to lead off with the bullpen and continue on with the bullpen. Um, interesting approach. Uh, we saw that did not work out for the Athletics yesterday. However, uh, Milwaukee's bullpen is better than the Athletics bullpen uh, numbers-wise. So let's talk about Antonio Sensatella and the Colorado Rockies. So Ro Rockies have a unique approach, of course, because of their home field, um, uh, just the play in Coors Field. Uh, ERAs are always elevated. Hits are always ele elevated there. Opponent batting averages are always elevated. Let's let's look at Sensatella's numbers. He's got a 4.83 ERA at home, a 4.01 ERA on the road. Pretty normal. Um, opponents hit 220 on the road against him versus 316 at home. That's a big jump. Uh, more than the other pitchers. Uh, 220 on the road is fantastic. Uh, 316 at home. Last 30 days, we're seeing a 271 opponent average in his last five starts, 325 ERA. Um, as we look at his last five starts, though, they are all against uh, bottom five hitting teams in baseball. San Francisco, Arizona. I'm pulling up his last five starts. It's San Francisco, Arizona, and Philadelphia. Um, two games against Arizona, two games against San Francisco, and one against Philadelphia, of which, you know, those numbers are a little misleading as he faced San Francisco twice and Arizona twice, both in the bottom five in baseball stats uh, in the month of September. So you can read into that a little bit. I'm not reading into the into that that much. The last quality team he faced was St. Louis in Coors Field. He went four and a third, gave up 10 hits, seven runs. Um, but here, here's something that is interesting. In his last five road starts, almost every single one follows these numbers. Three to five hits given up, one run given up, with the exception of one. The only difference in that one is that he gave up two runs. That's it. The totals in those games went six, five, seven, eight. All of them falling under the eight and a half. In fact, yeah, then you can add another start to that as well, where it fell under at seven. Um, however, uh, in these games, seven innings, three hits, one run against Arizona. Five innings, five hits, one run against San Francisco. Six innings, four hits, one run against San Diego. Five hits, five, five innings, five hits, two runs against Atlanta. Six innings, five hits, one run against St. Louis. You see, you see the trend, what he's doing here. If I could predict what he'll do today, it'll be six innings, five hits, one run given up against Milwaukee. Um, that said, Milwaukee is not San Francisco's offense. Milwaukee has one of the top offenses. They have won nine of their last 10 to get into this spot. 
Colorado won eight of their last 10 to get into this spot. And a lot has to do with both of these teams' offenses. So, you know, let's look at that. Colorado, number one team in runs scored over the last seven days. Milwaukee, number five. Uh, they've put in 40 runs in the last six games. They're hitting 300. They have a 510 slugging percentage. Um, Colorado, 294 average, a 651 slugging percentage. But they've belted 21 home runs. Uh, again, it's nice to hit in Coors Field. Um, Brandon Woodruff, flipping over to him from Milwaukee. Uh, 0.73 ERA through the month of uh, September. Really impressive. No starts. Seven outings out of the bullpen. He's logged 12 innings, uh, given up 10 hits. Opponents hitting 217. He had a disaster, disaster start in uh, Colorado at Coors Field. Three innings, nine hits, seven runs. 529 opponent batting average for the Rockies. I'm not digging into that too much. It was in Colorado, and it was a long time ago. Um, I'm going to hold that aside because Woodruff, that was in May. Woodruff has been a completely different pitcher in the last 30 days, in the last 90 days. So I don't want to dig too much into how he did at Coors Field. We're now going to be in Milwaukee, and he's probably only going to go one to possibly two innings. So what does that all mean? <clears throat> Where does that bring us here today? I think we have Senzatella on the mound. He's going to do his normal, giving up a handful of hits, but holding them to one run. Meanwhile, Woodruff will start the game and then we'll quickly move into the best bullpen in baseball. The line opened up at eight and a half. We're seeing money coming on the over, but the line is moving towards the under. I think I don't have enough confidence to go with the Rockies here in this one. Uh, as Milwaukee has been clutch just as well as they have. I don't have enough confidence to go with Milwaukee run line, um, and I don't like the value at minus 160 taking Milwaukee money line. So what I like here, though, is going to be the total going under the 8.5. Colorado has done well on the road. Trends say that their totals on the road go under, whereas home they go over. So I'm going to go with the under here with Senzatella on the mound going against the opener Woodruff and the Milwaukee bullpen uh, in Milwaukee today. Give me under eight and a half. So there you go, under eight and a half. Good luck, everyone, today. And check out my other play in the uh, Braves-Dodgers game. Good luck.